Welcome to another Red Hunt video. Story 1. Am I the antagonist for calling the police on my brother? I have two younger siblings. My brother is married and has a two-year-old daughter. My parents and sister live in the same city as my brother, while I reside a few hours away in a different city. Lately, my sister has been expressing her frustration that my brother invites her to his family outings, only to use her as a babysitter for our niece. He invites her to restaurants or parks, then asks her to watch the child while he and his wife enjoy themselves. Feeling used, my sister decided to stop participating in these outings. Our parents supported her decision and even talked to my brother about it. Despite their conversation, my brother didn't seem to take the matter seriously. He suggested that my sister join a road trip lasting three days and two nights from Sunday to Tuesday. However, she declined the invitation and her parents also said no due to her missing school days. Important to note that it's not summer in our region and kids are in school. Last Sunday, while our parents were at church, my brother unexpectedly arrived at our house and insisted that my sister get into the car because they were leaving on the road trip. Despite her reluctance, he and his wife pressured her to join them. In the car, my sister reached out to me via text explaining the situation. She mentioned that she had messaged her parents, but they were unlikely to read her messages during the church service. So, I decided to call my brother. I reminded him of our parents' decision and pointed out that my sister didn't want to go anyway. I urged him to turn the car around and take her back home. He dismissed my concerns, asserting that I had no authority over him. I then brought up the serious nature of his actions, mentioning that what he was doing could be considered kidnapping. I warned him that I would involve the police if he didn't return my sister immediately. His response was to laugh it off and hang up on me. In response, I proceeded to call the police. Police. They located them quickly as they hadn't yet left the city. While our parents chose not to press charges, the situation was resolved fairly swiftly. My parents are understandably furious with my brother, though they have differing opinions about my actions. My mother is upset with me for involving the police. She acknowledges my brother's wrongdoing and understands my limited options due to my remote location but she feels I went too far. She suggests that if I had waited for them to finish church, she could have spoken to my brother and persuaded him to bring my sister back home. Furthermore, she believes that within the half hour it would have taken them to leave the church service, my brother likely wouldn't have even left the city due to heavy traffic. On the other hand, my father sees my intervention as a positive move, since it might have scared my brother into reconsidering taking my sister without permission. He believes this incident might serve as a valuable lesson for my brother. So, Reddit, am I the asshole in this situation? Calling the police was a necessary step to ensure your sister's well-being and enforce boundaries. While your mother has valid concerns about the involvement of authorities and timing, your actions were taken in the best interest of your sister's safety and her boundaries. This situation highlighted the importance of respecting your sister's choices and your family's decisions. Your father's perspective is also valuable. It's possible that your intervention could have had a positive impact in terms of making your brother recognize the seriousness of his actions. Ultimately, your actions stem from a genuine concern for your sister's well-being and you were instrumental in addressing a concerning pattern of behavior. You're not the asshole here, and your mom seriously needs to see the reality. Your brother's behavior is completely unacceptable. He's exploiting your sister to the extent of effectively kidnapping her, and your mom's criticism of involving the police. Frankly, I would have pressed charges if my own child did something like that. Given the severity of the situation, I'd strongly advise against letting your sister have unsupervised visits with your brother. Your dad should step in and have a serious conversation with your mom to make her understand the gravity of the situation. Setting aside any drama, forcibly taking a child for your own convenience, especially when you're not the main guardian or caretaker, is far from a laughing matter. If your brother was informed multiple times that his actions were inappropriate and still continued, then calling the police in such a situation is entirely justified. This kind of behavior crosses a serious line. You should let your sister know that she's well within her rights to dial 911 as well. If your brother ever leaves his child with her again, she can consider calling the police for child abandonment. Story 2. Am I the antagonist for complaining about the couple in the hotel room next door? I am currently enjoying a vacation in Europe alongside my husband. We've been together for 14 years. And this marks our first trip without our children. Our main intention for this vacation was to rekindle a relationship, and it's a two-week journey. 
Presently, we are on day 9, and for context, we've only been intimate once during the trip. This happened while we were both under the influence of alcohol, and it felt somewhat forced. While we connect well as companions, our sexual life has been a point of concern since we became parents. Unfortunately, things have deteriorated even further. Last year, my husband confided in me that he loves me, but no longer feels a sexual attraction towards me. This revelation was deeply upsetting and hurtful, especially considering I've gained over 100 pounds in the past three years. Our accommodations are at a luxurious five-star resort, complete with private hotel rooms, featuring individual small pools and terraces. From the moment we arrived, my husband has taken issue with numerous aspects. The hotel itself, the staff, the food, and even the other guests. Around five days ago, a young British couple moved into the room next door. They are both strikingly attractive, and it wouldn't surprise me if they were Instagram models or something similar. The challenge arises from the fact that our rooms share a common wall, and there's a lower balcony where we can see their terrace. Since their arrival, we've overheard them engaging in sexual activities approximately twice a day. Additionally, when they're out on the terrace, they display affectionate behavior like kissing and cuddling. Furthermore, the woman's sunbath's topless, which is considered normal in Europe, but remains a bit uncomfortable for me. My husband swiftly struck up a friendship with them from our balcony, and it seems he might be infatuated with the woman next door. I suspect she might be oblivious to this. I've also had conversations with them, and they appear to be nice people. A couple of nights ago, I was awakened by the sounds of their intimate activities during the middle of the night and again in the morning. Feeling bothered, I approached the concierge and asked if they could kindly request that the noise be toned down. Unknown to me, my husband was informed about this complaint. Consequently, the man next door confronted my husband last night, expressing his frustration that my husband hadn't communicated directly if there was an issue. My husband was unaware that I had taken action, leading to a heated argument that spanned the entire evening. In the midst of our disagreement, my husband labeled me as ridiculous and a prude. He asserted that if I were more carefree, our issues would vanish. I also brought up his evident interest in the woman next door, to which he retorted, why wouldn't I be? She's young, slim, and attractive. This was clearly a jab at my appearance. After a tense exchange, he stormed around the hotel room before retiring for the night in silence. This morning, I discovered a message from my husband indicating that he had ventured out to hike up a hill or mountain. This activity consumes an entire day, and we had previously decided against doing it during this trip. Upon his return, our communication has been minimal at best. Although we had plans to dine out, he suggested opting for room service instead. Am I in the wrong for complaining about the neighboring couple's behavior? Or is my husband at fault for leaving me alone at the hotel throughout the day on our vacation? Regarding his decision to go hiking without consulting you, that could be seen as a sign of his frustration and a way of distancing himself from the situation. However, the lack of communication about his plans is also a concern. Ultimately, the situation is complex, and assigning blame may not be the most productive approach. Both of you seem to be struggling with your own issues and emotional responses. It might be wise to take some time for introspection and consider seeking professional help, such as couples therapy, to address the underlying problems in your relationship. It appears that a vacation might not be the solution you truly need. Therapy could be more beneficial. Your relationship seems to be grappling with significant challenges that won't be resolved by merely sleeping in separate bedrooms. If your commitment lies in salvaging your marriage, it's important to consider exploring counseling or therapy as a genuine effort towards finding a resolution. You're the antagonist I understand you might be seeking judgment between you and your husband, but that's not the central aspect. When it comes to the am I the antagonist assessment, you directed your personal insecurities and dissatisfaction with your vacation towards a couple who were on their own vacation. If your concern truly revolved around them, you could have engaged in direct communication, given that there was some form of interaction already established. However, you redirected your frustration towards your husband, and in doing so, sought to assign blame to someone, and you chose the couple who triggered your feelings of insecurity. Certainly, your husband's behavior was problematic, and addressing that is necessary. But it's not fair to displace your frustration onto innocent bystanders. You're the antagonist, sweetie. Your concerns aren't really about the neighbors. I get it, you asked to switch rooms because you can hear the neighbors' activities all night long. However, blaming your husband for having a friendly interaction with them isn't fair. It's pretty clear that you both have some significant problems, 
and a 12-day vacation likely won't magically fix everything. More likely, this time away will bring those issues to the forefront, so you can address them. Try to unwind a bit, enjoy some drinks, soak up the sun, read a book. Just relax. After all, the neighbors are probably doing the same thing.